Hello everyone, welcome to part 146 of Ecom series in around 5.7 and 5.8 and in this video uh, we are going to integrate the shipping charges at front end okay uh, in last video you can able to see that we able to uh, show the shipping charges in admin panel and we able to update the shipping charges for all the countries uh, through admin panel and in this video we are going to charge the customer for the uh, for their order we will add the shipping charges uh, okay, uh, according to their country. Okay, so let's start uh, on the front end. I'm going to open the front end panel along with the end panel and uh, shipping charges table along with the database and end panel. I will also open the front end. Okay, so mm, we are going to integrate the shipping charges at the time of order placement uh, when uh, at the time of order review. Okay. Uh, when we are finalizing everything there we will display the shipping charges as well according to the user delivery address or to the user delivery country shipping country okay so we can log in with any of the account okay uh, first of all we need to log in with any of the account uh, it's always a big challenge to log in Some other account five six. Okay. I will check in the user's table that which account is active so that we can open it and use it. Okay, so let's see in the table. Okay, so now we able to uh, log in to uh, the account. Okay, now uh, any product we can select and the product is already added to the card. So we can use this product and 1000 rupees product has been added to the card. Okay, all already there is the card and now we click on checkout and you can see uh, bill to and ship to billing address and shipping address is already there. And here the country is India. So uh, we will add the shipping charges for India and for india you have seen that in last video we have added the shipping charges uh, for india we uh, able to charge uh, uh, 500 500 rupees for, uh, for the shipping charges okay for india and here uh, after clicking on checkout and you can see that uh, uh, we are displaying the 1000 amount uh, in order view page 1000 amount but we are shipping cost is zero right now but now we need to add the shipping charges as we have added uh, 500 rupees for india you can see we have added 500 shipping charges for india so we will add 1000 plus 500 and the total amount will be 1500 okay uh, so this one we need to uh, get uh, from our tables from the admin panel okay so this one we need to code so that we can add the shipping charges okay so first thing uh, we need to add one function i'm going to close everything earlier on thing i can close and now uh, one function we are going to add in our product model that is get shipping charge function okay uh, so that we can get the shipping charge uh, according to the country okay so this one we can add at the last okay so public function public function after that get shipping charges like this okay and here uh, sorry static also 
required static like this okay so uh, public static function is actually two charges and after that uh, we are going to pass the country from the user uh, so that uh, that delivery country we are going to pass so that we can get these two charges for that country okay so i will add that country here okay so here i am going to write uh, like this shipping details shipping details okay so we will get from the shipping charge model okay and here country is this country dollar country okay like this okay so we we'll use first here and then we are going to get the shipping charges okay and this one we can get from this uh, variable shipping charges so once again we will get this okay so here we are going to return our shipping underscore charges like this okay so now uh, we can call this function in our uh, blade file okay so no first of all we need to uh, check that flux controller in flux controller uh, we will see that order view function okay in order view function uh, we will call this get shipping charges function and then pass we are going to pass the shipping charges to the order view blade file okay but first of all we need to get this uh shipping charges of, of the country okay uh, you can see here that we are having the shipping details and from shipping details we can fetch the sh shipping country for the user okay and from that we can fetch the shipping charges of the uh, for that country okay so here we will do one thing uh, here i will do like uh, fetch shipping charges like this okay so here uh, what i'm going to do i am going to right here shipping charges okay so here product model and then get shipping charge means whatever function that we have made here we are going to get this function Okay, call this function here to get the shipping charges okay and here i am going to pass the country the shipping country i am going to pass here okay like this country. okay so after this one here first of all uh, we must know that it is fine or not and for that uh, i will just check that uh, this one shipping charge is coming or not okay like this and 500 shipping charge must come here okay i'm going to see that 500 shipping charge is coming fine uh, for our country that is india and it is it it costs 500 shipping charges that is fine okay so this shipping charges we are going to uh, means uh, use at our front end okay so i'm going to pass the shipping charges at front end like this okay so in order view blade file i'm going to use the shipping charges okay so i'm going to open the order view blade file here it is and here uh, in shipping we are going to do that shipping charges okay here i am at zero right now but we are going to pass the shipping charges variable from there okay you can see now that after refresh you can see that shipping charges have come here 500 rupees but still not added in grand total so we need to add the shipping charges to our grand total as well okay so i'm going to add this shipping charges to the grand total as well okay like this okay that's okay so that we can get the shipping charges here and now you can see 1000 is the subtotal shipping charges is 500 and grand total is 1500 now it is fine and we can place the cod order 
with the shipping charges and then click on place order and then 1500 total amount must be gone there with 500 shipping charges okay so we are going to check once that whether the correct shipping charges is going or not okay so just click on place order after selecting cod it is taking few minutes my net is a bit slow so that's why it is taking uh, some time but wait, wait okay so here uh, in orders it must be reflected okay we will see once the order will get placed uh, okay now the order is placed you your cod order has been placed and you can see here your order number is 37 and total payable amount is INR 1500 okay so it means that shipping charges is included so it is going fine and we will now check in admin panel and here also you can see that 1500 amount is going fine and we are going to check the order details as well and you can see here that 1500 uh, amount is going fine but here it is showing zero but here 500 must be shown and for that we are going to check here in our uh, orders table and you can see here in orders table that how much shipping charges is going on and here it, we must also send the shipping charges uh, in shipping charges column 500 amount must be gone and I think it is not going so we need to add uh, in shipping charges in order uh, means here as well okay I'm going to here and you can see the shipping charge is not going here so uh, what we require we require to update the shipping charges uh, here in place order as well uh, we need to add the shipping charges here as well okay so here uh, we after grand total or uh, after this one we will uh, add here the shipping charges as well okay at the time of order placement uh, we need to means for the shipping charges okay uh, so here you can see that payment method is fine and here can be like the shipping uh, whatever the here the charges okay and here also shipping charges but we need to pass it from there okay from order view thing one simple thing here we can fetch the shipping charges once again according to the country so that will be easier for us and fetch shipping charges we are going to fetch the shipping charges once again okay here as well okay so that it will be easier and here uh, we can like this shipping details and uh, then country okay and shipping charges, the shipping charges will pass here. Okay, very simple. And now uh, we can uh, get the shipping charges in our uh, shipping charges column as well. Okay, so uh, once again, I am going to do so to resolve this issue. We will place one more order so that the shipping charges will also go in admin as well. We must show here as well. Okay, so one more order I am going to place. You can select any of the product, okay. So I have selected one of the product, okay. Uh, with 1000 amount once again, okay. So 500 shipping charges 
will get added uh, with five. Okay, here amount is five hundred only. So now we are going to add another five hundred as shipping charges. Then the amount total is one thousand. Okay, you can see for India once again, or you or you can change the country as well. Like if you want to uh, deliver this, if you want to deliver this to some other country like you want to deliver it to Argentina for Argentina as well uh, we have added the shipping charge 200 shipping charges okay so uh, 200 shipping charges must get added to 500 you can see 500 plus 200 and 700 is coming fine and I will select COD and then place order then the shipping charges must be uh, added in shipping charges column uh, as well uh, here in our orders table okay here we expect that shipping charges must be added to shipping charges column as well and must be added to uh, order total okay you know grand total it is coming fine again okay. we need to check in shipping charges as well and here you can see that the order has been placed now we can click on refresh to see okay and I will go at the end of the table and we'll see that if the shipping charges have been entered or not and uh, I'm going to select here 50 so that all the records must come here total records are 38 so we can get all the records here okay now we can check here and you can go uh, here you can see that 200 rupees have been added as shipping charges and the shipping country is Argentina ok so now it is coming fine and here now I am going to check this new order and we will see that the shipping charges have been added to this order as well or not ok here you can see the order, order amount is 700 that is fine and we are now checking view order details and here you can see shipping charge is coming as INR 200 so it is fine this time uh, you can also see order total is 700 in which shipping charges have been included as well and now it is uh, showing the correct uh, amount as shipping charges ok so in this way uh, we finish the simple way of adding shipping charges according to the country ok in next video we are going to add the product weight uh, for all the products and uh, we will calculate shipping charges according to the product weight as well means we will take now two things country as well as product weight to calculate the shipping charges okay and that thing is really useful when uh, when your uh, means uh, products vary in weight okay and you are having different uh, shipping charge you are having shipping charges according to weight okay like most of the quarter person used to do okay so that thing we will do in our next video and i hope that everything is clear up till now and if you have any query you can surely contact me at youtube description again have a nice time goodbye